morning it's actually afternoon yeah it's actually afternoon so good afternoon or good morning or good evening whatever time you're watching this vlog i hope you guys are well i hope you guys are okay um i'm vlogging this on a weekend so i hope your weekend is fine but i know you'll be seeing this on a wednesday so i hope your wednesday is fine and i hope you're having a good week um if you're new to my channel hi my name is kate you are absolutely welcome to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always supporting my content i can never thank you guys enough so we're going to get straight onto today's video we're going to do a shopping haul so that you can see what ten thousand kenyan shillings can buy you in kenya you know it's so funny how the economy has really like gone up like stuff is very expensive back in the days you do like shopping worth fifteen thousand kenyan shillings and it will be like a three months worth of shopping but now fifteen thousand kenyan shillings it's like a one month thing right now if you're a big family that is not even enough like for us right now we are like three at home but we need like shopping worth 10k and it's restocking yeah we're just restocking on a few things here and there because you also do not want to like leave everything to end and then it's when you start panicking like oh my god and at that time you also do not have money like times are hard you know and times are tough so i'm going to do a shopping haul like what we've gotten for we've just restocked on a few things and then also grocery haul yeah we've also done some little grocery haul but the grocery haul these are things worth a week usually say a week or two weeks let me say two weeks yeah let me say two weeks like i said we are only three in the house so i don't think these things can like end in just a week so welcome to the vlog i hope you guys enjoy this vlog uh, let's start with the um, with the groceries because uh, things need to like get unpacked cleaned and the vegetables need to be prepared for the week so first things first tomatoes this are like 200 shillings because i think this is 100 this is 100 so this is 20 shillings and then there is um this is a kilo of <laughs> this is a kilo of fresh fish these are like um this is 600 shillings for a kilo for fresh fish normally for like fried fish you get like one for 300 so that means for 600 you'll get two but for the fresh fish you get um three for 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 three three for 600 shillings that is and then we have um spring onions this is a lot this is always 50 shillings i am not sure how much this was but this is a lot maybe 70 shillings let's say 70 shillings at most and then a kit of eggs goes for like 450 shillings watermelon watermelon is very expensive i just realized watermelon is very expensive this one goes for like um i think 400 or 500 shillings yes and then there's cabbage 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 is like one for 70 shillings or 60 shillings so we got these like um one two three we got three of these so one is like 60 50 shillings seven to 70 shillings and then we have the pineapples we have the pineapples um we got these three pineapples one should be going for a hundred shillings this size should be going for a hundred shillings at most 150 shillings um and then we have some mangoes here. I don't know how much this was. But if I guess, there might be 150 shillings or 200 bob. And then we have... This is... Um, uh, Hoho. Hoho is uh, capsicum. This is capsicum. This is like 50 shillings. And then there is um, garlic garlic one goes for 20 so this is like 60 shillings and then there's dania the dania is like 20 bob and then there's groundnuts this is groundnuts um uh, this is like two kilos it goes for 400 or 380 shillings there roughly roughly 
and then there's the lemon lemon um four i think four goes for 20 bob so i think this whole pack might be either 80 shillings or 100 shillings at most then a kilo of onions this is like a kilo goes for 120 a kilo goes for 120 and then we have bananas these bananas are three for 20 so this is for 100 bob and then we got some avocados i live for avocados then this is kuma wiki in this bag this is kuma wiki kills yeah, if you don't if you don't call them skuma wiki, they're kills. Kills. This is for a hundred shillings. This is for a hundred shillings. Very little, but you know, right now it's sunny, so there's no skuma. Like there are no kills. We even tried the planting one just outside here in the kitchen, and it has totally dried up. And when it when it was not too sunny. It was doing really well, very healthy. It had very big leaves. So right now I know there's no skuma. Skuma is a little bit scarce. And then, then there's carrots. We also have carrots. This is like, I think this is 50 shillings. These carrots, they go for 50 bob. And then there's other, um, this is, um, Managu. I don't know what managu is called in English, honestly, but this is managu. Managu. This managu is like um, 200 bob for, I think, half of this bag. This is 200 bob. I think that is it for the grocery haul. I think I've showed you everything for the grocery haul. Um, the groceries roughly cost 3,000 Kenyan shillings. Let's say 3,000 to 3,500 Kenyan shillings for everything that you've seen like everything that you um i've showed you and then now i'm going to show you what we got for for the house for the general shop. house shopping um we did our shopping in naivas it's because it kind of has offers so we we had our shopping in naivas and uh, this omo bucket it, it's 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 for free it comes with some omo, omo products i'll show you what we got um so this is this came for free i don't know why it kind of looks small in the video like this video is not even doing it justice it's a huge huge bucket i don't know if you should call it a bucket at this point or a basin but you know let's just call it a bucket it's a huge bucket yeah it's it's a reasonably huge bucket so we're gonna start with the toiletries um we got serviettes these are like 125 shillings each so for two they're going for like 250 shillings and then we got these for these are also 120 shillings uh so that is like 240 for two and then we have this axion this is for like i don't know if everyone uses this but this is what we use in the kitchen let me just show you how it looks this is how it it's um it looks it's just a solid soap like a solid utensil soap um this is like the lime flavor this is axion but there's uh there's also a morning is it morning fresh these are morning fresh brand personally i feel like these things there's no um there's no difference when it comes to these things honestly so for me i usually pick whatever i pick but my mom my mom prefers the axion um this was um i think this was like 230 shillings and then there's the sunlight the sunlight liquid soap this was like a 224 shillings and then this is omo bleach i don't know if you guys knew that omo has bleach but omo has just i think it has just released its bleach and it is um now for these two this was like let me just confirm i think it was like six i have my receipt here i think it was like 600 shillings for the two let me just confirm yeah omo bleach uh 599 so this is like 600 shillings so for these two so if you buy these two it's what you it's what um gives you the bucket or if you buy uh the one kg omo the powder the powder soap omo one kg and one bleach 
it also gives you this bucket so if you want this bucket go to never supermarket i don't know if other supermarkets have this offer but go to if you want this bucket for free go to never supermarket get these two or get a uh, one kg of um the omo powder soap and uh and one one bottle of bleach this is like how many ml this is like 700 ml and then you get a free bucket then uh, we have hapik we just um we usually use this for the toilet i think everyone uses this for the toilet so this one goes for like i don't know why this thing is very expensive sincerely speaking i don't know why hapik is very expensive so this this one is like 370 shillings i mean and i think my home we have uh, several bedrooms and each bedroom is in suit so you know each bedroom needs a what so you can imagine seven times all the bathrooms that we have in the house it's it's quite expensive let me know in the comment section what do you think about our current economy by the way let me know in the comment section because i know we are really struggling right now um next is um bar soap this one bar soap this is like one kg this is one kilogram this bar soap goes for like 189 shillings and we kind of got um a few of them we kind of got a few of them so next um there's this star soft this is like uh i think 200 shillings or 180 shil no i think it's 200 shillings for for 400 ml star soft this is like 200 shillings and then this is the sunlight um powder soap the sunlight powder soap this goes for like 240 shillings this goes for like 240 shillings. Next in the bucket, we have um, bathing soap. This one goes for 65 shillings. So we kind of got a few of these. And then, I don't, this is 100 shillings. This is Hanan wet wipes. Goes for 100 shillings. This is like 33 shillings for the matchbox. Um... The toothpaste, this goes for 85 shillings, one, for one that is, and um, I don't know how much this is, I don't know where the list has gone, I don't know how much this is, this is like, is it 90 shillings, I think this is 90 shillings, and then there's toothpaste, toothpaste for 100 bob, and then these are just, I kind of stopped on this as well, this is 200 bob. And then there's this, this 15 pack, it's a 15 pack of tissue, like the small tissue rolls. This is like 15 packs, it goes for 570 shillings. Something else that is has become very expensive is tissue, especially after COVID. I don't know why they made tissue very expensive, but a pack for a pack of 15, this goes for 570 bob. And I think that is it for toiletries. Now onto the food stuffs. This hand towel. Um, a hand towel. I, I I think you know what a hand towel is. You use a hand towel after after washing your hands. You use it to dry your hands. So this is a hand towel. One goes for three hundred and fifty shillings. And then for this food stuffs, this is a vena. This is um five five liters. This is a vena five liters. It goes for, this is a vegetable cooking oil. It goes for, I think, 1099 but it was on offer. That was on offer. So, today it has been for 1099 And then this, this is 5 kg sugar. 5 kg sugar, this goes for 770 shillings. A bag. So, the sugar goes for 570 This is drinking chocolate. This is, um, is it 240 This thing... This thing, let me just confirm. Mm -hmm. Where is the drinking chocolate? This thing, I kind of feel like it's too expensive and I do not understand why. And I cannot see it on the list as well because I'm trying to look for it very quick. But this thing is like 200 and something shillings. 
I can't see it. I don't know why I can't see it, but this thing is 240 shillings and I do not understand why. Why this, this cocoa powder is 240 shillings? And then apples. This is like 225. The cheapest thing in Kenya is salt. The cheapest thing in, I repeat again, the cheapest thing in Kenya is salt. This is like this is 70 shillings for 2 kgs of salt. 2 kgs of salt gives, uh, you get a 2 kg of salt for 70 bob. And um, noodles. Who does not like noodles? Noodles, one goes for 140. So, and the one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, one packet has like 5 um, packs in it. So, for 10 packs, you get... For 280 shillings, it gives you 10 packs of noodles. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. 10 packs. Anyways. And then we have cake. This is 135 shillings. I love this. One thing Nevers has uh, is fresh um, pastries. I don't know. Is this is a pastry, right? It has very, very fresh pastries from bread to cakes to everything very fresh this goes for 135 shillings and then there's this um there's this of vienna this is um it's made from oats i don't know how to call it do we call it bread it's a loaf it's a loaf it's made from oats it's um it's 130 shillings and then there's uh, a box of milk this box of milk is, uh, this is 500 ml. It has like one, two, three, one. I think it has like 12 of, uh, 12 packets of milk inside. This is, this goes for 667, but it was on offer. Normally it usually goes for like 720 shillings or something like that. And then lastly, we have the Ajab. One goes for, um, um let me see let me see one goes for i think 185 this one i must check uh okay um oh one goes for 195 shillings yeah one goes for 195 shillings. If you want half a bale, I think you can get it for 1200 shillings. If you have, if you want like the whole bale, not 120 shillings, 1200 shillings for half a bale of the, um, for the two kgs in Ghana. And if you want like the a bale for two kgs, a whole bale, it goes for like 2400. I don't know about the smaller ones. We usually. We usually use the 2kg. I don't know about the 1kg. And I think that is all for today. Like I said, we were just restocking a few things that we needed to um, restock on. Because uh, we still have other things available in the house. So if you've not seen uh, like other things, other things that you as an individual, you, you buy when it comes to house shopping, just know that we were just restocking. So whatever we didn't need to buy, we didn't need to buy them. So for the shopping hall, the shopping hall costs um, 10,000 Kenyan shillings. I think it's 10,000, where's the receipt? It is 10,800 and something to be precise. Where have I put the receipt? The receipt has disappeared, but uh, for the shopping, it costs 10,800 and, uh, and something. And... Um, that is something that is for one that is like a one month and i don't even think that it will take us for a whole month but we are also a few in the house and one thing i know for ten thousand kenyan shillings for a big family it will not sustain a whole family like a big family for a whole month you get um it's so sad that economy has really is so messed up like our economy is so messed up everything is so expensive that means that you have to work extra hard money is also small you know when it comes to um employment in kenya they also like specific organizations pay well but not all jobs pay well and it's just so sad that as a country we're just struggling and all that but you know what the only the what matters the most is that we are 
all alive and we are living and we are happy even with the small that you have you kind of just have to appreciate you know the little things that we have in life so um, that is our video for today and let me know in the comment section what you currently think about our Kenyan economy if you're in Kenya out of the country let me know what a hundred dollars can get you for basic household items let me know um, what a uh, hundred dollars can get you and uh, for the groceries as well I feel like the groceries are cheap as compared but we can also not compare you know groceries are cheap i kind of feel like groceries are cheap especially if you're getting them from the market there are people who get groceries from the supermarkets as well and i know that is expensive so i'm saying a grocery is cheap because we get it from the market and you know the market you can easily begin and all that as compared to supermarkets so yeah let me know in the comment section what you think i'll see you guys on my next vlog bye guys